hi guys am i don't know if i'm live i've done this after i'm doing this after a really long time hello hello thanks for coming um first i just want to thank everybody for um commenting on the post that i put up because uh, i know i was getting a lot of comments from all of you all to come live and to interact and it's been really long and i wanted to be able to reach out to you more um you know it sometimes we reading all of your instant comments i kind of lose some of them so what i've done is i've actually done some homework i've sit, sat and gone through all the comments um on my instagram post that i posted and i've actually written some of the common ones like i told you all i would write about your experiences all the things that you've shared and um really thank you thank you so much for sharing all your thoughts and feelings it was just uh, amazing to read that to know that everyone's going through the same thing and um to see some of y'all so deal with it so maturely i think it helped me and i'm sure it's going to help everyone else so i'm going to get to it i'm going to start reading some of the things uh it's amazing how there's some things which us like all of us are dealing with like sleep i'm going to read out a couple of um the ones uh that that are talking about how they're having sleep issues right now okay everyone hi but i'm going to go straight into this and dive into this i'm also going to try and save this video so that if you've logged in a little later you will get to see and hear me read out your comments hopefully so dhananjay56 underscore o9 underscore says my sleeping pattern is with a dangerous emoji sleeping the whole day and staying up all night arnav patkar26 says i'm not able to sleep or do anything the whole day Aru Seven says the thing I experienced is that the whole routine gets beeped up. I'm not saying that word on Insta. I stay up all night and sleep in the day. Do you experience the same thing? Yes, Aru. I've been through that initially as well, where I was sleeping at like three in the morning and waking up late, thinking I actually started waking up at like ten o'clock, even though my eyes would open at seven. I would procrastinate in bed till about um, you know ten o'clock, thinking that I'll have less time to to spend during the day until. Pretty recently, I felt like no, I don't want to. I want to sort of still stick to my routine, sleep on time, wake up early. Even if I'm not getting sleep till late and waking up early, I mean, uh, you know, not getting sleep till late, sleeping late, I'm still going to try and wake up early so that I can sort of get that cycle back, which one should do, I guess. Um, we all should do. Nidhi says, I generally love sleeping, but now I'm not able to sleep till three a.m. Just like what I felt, Nidhi. So I completely understand. um i don't sleep during the day so i keep myself occupied and i don't want to but i don't want to become an insomniac so i think that's why we need to kind of get the whole sleep pattern back okay lots of love coming in thanks guys um if you all have anything you all want to share about how we can beat the sleep issues that some of us are facing right now it would be nice to read it in your comments a lot of love again uh something i stopped doing is ha- stopped having coffee after 3 o'clock like my last cup of coffee was 3 o'clock and i tried to even uh work out later so i'd feel tired i can't sleep because my wife's cousins and family want to play ludo king what should i listen play ludo king i love playing ludo king i'm obsessed with ludo king and um it's a good it's not bad actually some of these board games make your mind really think and then you're tired by the end of it and ready to knock yourself out so why not play ludo king with your wife and her cousin and her family Chamunda today is my birthday happy birthday i hope you have a super duper duper day um spending with your loved ones stay safe stay at home and i hope you're all at home while i'm uh having this conversation with you all i'm pretty sure you know as we can go right now okay jokes apart um then one comment that really really did make me feel a lot was shivu 0219 shivu's a mom and she writes nice initiative Being a mom I sometimes think how it will affect our kids minds the children for no fault of theirs are sharing this crisis and are being asked to stay home all the time it's like putting them in cages and i pray for each soul so do i shivu and i mean i it really breaks my heart to think you know of all the children who are out there who are kind of still probably processing what's happening and why they're being made to sit at home um What I did do is I asked my mum because my mum's a preschool teacher and she runs a school. I asked her. I actually read this one out to her and I said, "What do you think? You know, I feel it's so sad." And she's constantly in touch with her parents in school, and she, um, you know, she actually, she told me. But right now, what's most important is their safety, and it's important right now that we're all safe. Our children are safe, so it's important to just 
keep them safe at home with you but while doing it she had a few suggestions and i hope they work because i think um, you know it will be interesting for you and for them she says in montessori activity um it's an act, you know in montessori they make them do uh, a lot of um ac- activities which help their motor development like folding clothes if you're probably cooking you can put them on a safe place and give them a little dough to kind of get their motor skills going make them play with you know the dough fold clothes clean away their toys put them back so i think these little things are all life lessons which um you know it's great to you know keep them busy make them learn and reading of course i'm sure you're doing everything like reading to them um you know trying to keep their days busy and i think just make this an exciting time for them right? there's a movie called life is beautiful and if you've seen that movie um i think it'll bring a big smile to your face maybe watch that movie and i and i pray with you that this ends soon so the children can go back and you know go down and play i've been i keep looking from my window and i feel really sad i have friends who have kids who are probably going through the same thing and just thinking of how to kind of make it exciting for them at home so uh yeah please do so 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 reenaj is getting bored because i don't think he has babies or anything so we'll move on to the more productive questions now ma'am you can break your workout in steps for small intervals in your body okay see this is really fast this is why i cannot ever read all the comments on live can i go upar yeah okay tyagi akshay is this my friend akshay this some tyagi akshay okay ma'am you you can break your workouts in steps for small intervals and your body will feel tired and therefore body will feel tired and hence sleep will come naturally it works for me at least yeah actually working out in the evening is pretty good it i mean even for me it tires me out by the end of it a lot of a lot of you all wrote about feeling a little unproductive and that's something that even i went through um i started feeling like this constant pressure of being productive but i think right now with you know this with what's happening it's it's okay not to put that pressure on yourself and i think we should just enjoy the simple things take each day as it comes um and not stress about you know feeling like i have to be productive i think you will it will come to you that moment will come to you when you want to do something outside in fact there's some there are a lot of people who've um, you know written a lot of positive things like to pick up a new skill do something that you don't you never thought you, i actually have a list i'm going to share this box with you okay so i had written this when on one of my birthdays it's my 30 under 30 things that i want to do before i'm 30 years old and i kid you not i think i've only done two or three things i'm not going to share this list because it's quite private and it's quite like intimate but these are the 30 things i want to do before i turn 30 and there's not so much time before i turn 30 so I uh, but I'm going to start doing some of them because I think the some of them are possible to do when I'm at home. I thought I wanted to take a course in performing arts abroad, but I thought maybe I'll join an online workshop. I just got a forward today that Harvard is doing free online uh workshops for I'm going to post that. I don't know. I'll let me first find out if it's legit because there are lots of posts doing the round. But I'm going to post that and let's see if that's true then why not? I think do a course online. It's pretty cool. It will help you learn something new. So yeah I mean don't kill yourself over it I think it's okay to feel the way you're feeling it's okay you're going to have a few days which are rough which are not I'm actually telling myself this and a lot of people have um said the same thing which which kind of like reinforced it while I was almost feeling like but is it really okay and then I read some of your comments that really helped me as well A lot of people spoke about job insecurity and this is something that I want to read out as well um men on a mission said he just wrote about job insecurity arnav patkar 26 and meet gangani 7 both said overthinking about the future um tanam kasaha says how to deal with unemployment the misanthropic girl says hey kiara i hope you're doing well i've applied for studying abroad and due to the situation everything is over the place i haven't received an admit and it's really difficult to hold on to my emotions and my patience my emotions and my patience all over the place it's tough dealing with the fact that how uncertain our lives and our careers have become i think this is something which i really did want to read as many comments as i could about it it's something that at one point i was thinking about you know are people stressed about this and i'm sure they are um me too I don't know when my next film is going to release. I we are in a profession 
where going back to set where about a minimum of 200 to 400 people on a set working so it's not possible for us to start work because safety comes first but i'm going to read out something which um i think answers this beautifully which again one of you have written there is sorry please bear with me for a few minutes but i feel this was just just what i needed to hear and i think it's going to help you as well okay vikram singh 909 says ma'am where you focus that energy attracts you i'm only focusing on positivity and enjoying the company of my loved ones if we compare ourselves with the vulnerable people then we realize how grateful we have we truly are so i think he's said it just right i think what we're uncertain about what we don't have control over there's no point worrying and putting our focus and energy there take one day at a time finish all the tasks that you have today let's make today perfect and whatever has to happen will happen but let's just work on today stop worrying about tomorrow i don't think we should you know be giving out that kind of energy and that negativity so yeah i think um I think he said it really well and I really wanted to share that with you all. So it will all be okay and this too shall pass like they say. I'm going to read out all the unproductive ones. I'm sure all of you can relate to this one. Oh, okay. Murti mama says, sometimes I did I read out the unproductive ones? Now I'm confused which ones I've read out. I've written so many. Okay. Um Rohan Sharma says Many people are stressing on the fact that you should come out of this quarantine with a new skill or habit. It's good, but I think people should understand that it's also a time to slow down, take a step back and rethink where your life is going. What are your thoughts about this? I think Rohan that's just what we all needed to hear because yeah, I think it's a good time to reflect and um you know, I think in a way it's like nature telling us just chill and god telling us stop being in this rat race, just take a minute to just see and rethink like you said reflect on that the gray haired kid said over time i've come to terms that that it's okay if i wasn't highly productive during this lockdown phase i've struggled with the choices of what's next in my career it's okay if i have not been able to learn a new skill entirely but i have regards but i have regard for my own self for having struggled through instability of thoughts evaluated choices and ultimately widened my intellect so it's been okay kiara and i'm i'm glad that's how you feel i'm glad that you know you you've intellectualized it and you figured this out yourself that's the thing we know the answers we know that that we can get out of it it's just that we have to act upon it um so yeah we got this guys it's we we'll do this together we'll you know as initially let me tell you something what i was going through so i know these workout videos and all that you all keep i i i see some funny comments on them but i feel in my profession all of us actors it's very it's almost like second it's how you breathe your workout is just a part of what you do it's not something that we have to do but during this lockdown period and during quarantine i just felt like i didn't feel like working out and i just felt super lazy and lethargic and what every time i would go on instagram and i would see my colleagues post a video that actually made me think why not actually let me let me just push myself and get there and when i did i now realize it's just that struggle of wearing those clothes and going to the gym or going now you don't i mean you can if you have it at home great if you can go to your balcony or even you know put a mat down and do it um on the floor it's fine but i just realize it releases these happy hormones that just make you feel good so um so yeah i think sometimes in a way thanks to instagram it's giving you ideas technology is the only thing we have right now to keep us busy to keep us you know thinking creating deciding what we want to do and um and yeah so i feel like maybe i wasn't up to it but thanks to like seeing my colleagues do it and pushed me and motivated me to go back to doing all the things that i was so used to in my life um that's it okay let me read some of these i'm a crazy fan thanks arnab that's really sweet of you hi guys hi hi and hi lots of love love struck faces smileys that's nice you guys want to share anything with the comments all these comments that i've read out and um which i will continue to read out are actually all there so you can go and 
see their comments if you want to there's a lot of positive stuff that you guys have sent in for each other which i actually really really liked so i think um, you know it'll be great to go but before i before I, i i sign off there's one that i really wanted to read i think for me this was this was my most favorite one pranav jain 29 pranav jain 29 are you on this chat right now can you say hi okay i'm going to wait for a second if he's there i don't see him okay well i hope he sees this later but he's written something for all of us actually and i'm going to read it out it's a little long so just telling you all to remember that okay so i don't know who needs to hear this but i'm going to say it if you are out there and dealing with anxiety i want to say this dear person i know it sucks i know it's scary i know it's like you're the undertow you're the undertow is put i know it's like the undertow is pulling you in and i know you feel like you are drowning and i'm sorry that you have to deal with it all i want to tell you that things will get better soon but i don't know your story your struggle i don't know the severity of your illness and i cannot make you a patronizing promise like that but what i can say is that one point and at some point you will feel like giving up but just remember that somewhere in your future maybe not tomorrow maybe not day after maybe not even next year but somewhere in your future a day is waiting and it's a simple ordinary and profound day where you will get one little thing right like you'll make the perfect meal or the sun and wind will hit your face in that perfect way that will make you feel better or a friend will tell you a joke that will make you burst into a laughter and in that second on that day a voice in your head will say i'm glad i stuck around for this i will also tell you that day will not last forever and for every good day there will be a bad day because we will wander because we will wander between the darkness and the light and that's okay when you feel like you are at your weak or your weakest and you feel like giving up just remember that you might be just remember that you might think you're weak but there's someone else for whom you're their source of strength whether you know it or not what we have what we deal with what we live with isn't always nice and pretty but it is you are and you really should stay anxiously yours um Pranav this really touched me. I don't know if you're here because I was busy reading this and I don't know if everyone else has read this but I hope they do it's in the comments and I'm going to actually post this. Um but yeah, you're all totally worth it. Uh we all are and we're going to get through this. And now again I'll go back to all these. Your eyes have pain care and nahi yaar doesn't have pain. It's actually pretty good mascara and all for all. Hi Preeti. Hi guys. Yeah, I miss my Preeti days. But Kabir Singh is on Netflix, I think. So you can watch it. What's up guys? Let's also take a moment to thank um everyone out there. All the all the medical, the 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 doctors, the nurses, everyone on the front line, our police officers, our watchmen, vendors, vegetable vendors, every single person who's um sacrificing their lives right now to make sure that we are safe so this one's for them thank you for this love thanks sadat malhotra i hope you you've been watching this entire chat rohan chauhan okay it's damn fast man kabir singh is greater than guilty well so long as i was in both it's fine okay bhatna hi guys Lots of love. I should do this often. Every time I feel low, I should just come here, and you guys will send me all this love. I want to send it back. Man, your acting and dancing just impressed me. I'm gonna pay some. Another thing I want to do is take an online dance class. I'm gonna put up some video online dance class next. Kiara, I'm love from Chennai. Lot of love back. I hope you guys are safe. Um, actually, miss the south a lot as well. Adnan Khan has said do you remember no i don't remember when we met last uh, last adnan khan why don't you remind me okay okay now it's going into the hello zone my mother has commented my parents are watching this live from the bedroom because that's what they do they're a bit obsessed with me my mother said you are so witty and funny 
Mama, can you ever say anything bad about me? I don't think so. Um, I never knew. What is this emoji, guys? This hand thing you're put. Is it like a high five or a spank? I've never known, so I never use it. Are you Cindy? Yeah, Advani. Deepak Chagnani. Oh, yeah, Cindy too. Hi, buddy. Hi, I am Sahir from Kashmir. Hi, Sahir. Love from Goa. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sending all the love. Lakshmi bomb ke baad kya plan hai? Bhai, nowadays I'm just thinking aaj ka kya plan hai. I've not even thought so far. Take each day as it comes. Just focus on today. Spank, it's a hey. Oh, sorry, Arjun Kapoor. <laughs> My bad. It's a hey. Oh, it's a hi. Lots of people are saying it's a hi. Okay, got it. Nice. I'm going to use it again. Every time I say hi to you guys, I'm going to say. Okay, guys, should I go now? <laughs> oh, sorry. I want to see if I've missed anyone's. I'm asking you so many questions. Makeup by Lekha. I've not read your questions. They're going so fast. Write it again quickly. Kisne touch kia? Big fan of yours, Jyoti. Kisi ne nahi touch kia, Jyoti. Aapke comments ne mujhe mere dil ne touch kia. Makeup, why are you avoiding? Makeup by Lekha, I'm not avoiding your questions. I haven't read anything. Babe, message. What am I reading? Um... Honestly, I haven't started reading a book as yet. I'm watching a lot of content. But I will definitely um, try and read soon. Lekha, I miss you too. Um, I'm watching a lot of content right now. Anything you all want to recommend? I've been watching... I'm currently watching a show called Servant, which is on Apple TV. I watched Special Ops, which was really nice, which was on Hotstar. Um, yeah, a lot of TV shows. Please Hindi me bolo na kuch. Bas bol diya. Are you watching Ramayan? No. Should I? What what channel is it on? My next Telugu movie, guys. I don't know. I we I don't I don't think any of us know. I think we have to all focus on today. I'm literally just learning to enjoy today, not thinking about kal kya hoga. My mom says, please pray, may God bless and heal the world. Mom, I'm enjoying reading your comments. Um, yeah, I think uh, right now what it's... We, we as a family, I'd like to share this with you all. We as a family sit at 7 o'clock actually every evening and pray and just thank God to be for being healthy. And, and I think uh, that's something that gives us a lot of peace. So why not? That's what you should do too sometimes. Try it. You'll feel happy. Just wake up in the morning and write things you're grateful for. I think that really, really works. It just, I think it, it's all in the mind. It takes that one moment in the mind to say, to, you know, to be happy and feel happy. My mom always says, when you just smile, you automatically feel happy. Like, you feel happy. Like, it signals your brain. So try that. Uh, please sing a song. Ma'am, I've been asking so many times. You definitely don't want me to sing a song right now. Trust me. Siddharth Malhotra asked me to watch his movies. Sure, Sid. Sindhi me kuch bolo na aap. You know, I, I only know one line in Sindhi. And for all the Sindhis out there, I may not be very happy if I say only that one line. So I don't know if I should say it, but I'll just say it. Thulli dakki vai means fatty got scared. It's a very silly line and I don't know why I know this. Hey, are you at Vivaria? No, I'm not at Vivaria. Preeti wala acting is very hard, ma'am. Nanki. Okay, guys. There's a lot of love. Thank you for sending all your love. And thank you for writing everything that you all did. There were some really, really interesting comments. And there were some really interesting experiences that you all shared with me. And it really brought a smile to my face. So, in a way, I just want to thank you. You all actually helped me um, feel more productive, do something that I wanted to do. Um, and, you know, just seeing the positivity on your faces really, really, really made my day. So, if anyone else is feeling that way, you can actually go to the comment section on my post. 
um where i've uh, requested you all to share your feelings and read what everybody's written they're just amazing um it's not just for me it's for everybody so let's do this again very very soon and i had fun chatting with you all shall i take some more questions okay chal i'll shout out your name ig swarna deep swarna deep hi i hope this makes you happy chal i'll say hi to you all it's bikram i'm assuming it's bikram but bikr for m fancy these insta ids you all have Rishabh Bhardwaj thanks for sharing your time with all of us we love you i love you too and i actually want to spend more and share more time with you all and time is all we have right now so let's spend it together what am i going to cook um today for dinner i think i might have some fish what are you going to cook i want to know give me some ideas now guys you'll have any ideas of food ideas what we can cook and eat Your hairs are so attractive and black and silky. Thank you. I actually washed it today. I'm so happy you noticed it. Who's this? Shrish Shrish Mishra. Thanks, Shrish Mishra. Made my day. Uh, what would I do first after lockdown? Okay, Ashwini Adi. I said make khichdi. Thanks, Ash. That's that's probably what I'm gonna do. Though I have khichdi for lunch. It's only the only thing I've been eating these days. Uh, what will I do first after lockdown? Coming back to your question. um i think we'll still have to phase it in i you know it's we're still going to have to practice social distancing we're still going to need to be a little careful but i just want to go and give the first person i see a big hug maybe if i see you i'll give you a big hug home cook simple food ya yeah, tripti kaur that's that's what i love i love ghar ka khana राज क्रिकू सेज मैम आपका टाइम कैसे जा रहा है एक्चुअली आज मैंने क्या किया टुडे आई वोक अप आई वोक आउट इन द मॉर्निंग बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू बी ऑल फ्रेश फॉर योर फॉर दिस लाइव सेशन आई शावर आई गॉट रेडी आई पोट सम ब्लाश ऑन एम स्कार ऑन सम टिंट ऑन माई लिप्स टू लुक प्रजेंटेबल फॉर योर एंड आई वॉज एक्साइटेड एक्चुअली चैट विद ऑल ऑफ यू एंड डू दिस इंस्टा लाइव एंड आई एम स्पेंडिंग माई टाइम विद यू राइट नाउ इसके बाद मे बी आर वॉट सम कॉन्टेंट आर हैंग विद माई फैमिली मेक समथिंग फन फॉर डिनर फैक्सी ओके दिस आर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग इंस्टाग्राम आई डीज बट थैंक्स थैंक्स फॉर दैट कॉम्प्लीमेंट कैन आई बोरो योर आईब्राउज या शो आई जस्ट ब्लॉक दम ऑफ एंड पील दम एंड सेंड इट टू यू एक्चुअली देन अदर थिंग आई लर्न इज हाउ टू डू माई ओन आईब्राउज ज्योरिंग लॉकडाउन इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो टू हाउ टू डू ऑल दीज थिंग्स Have I been to Australia? No, only Soham Kulkarni. I haven't been to Australia. I'd love to go, and I hope um, it's possible very soon. Things get better, and we can travel. But abhi ke liye everybody stay home and stay safe for yourselves and your loved ones. Uh, King Akshay Th- Akash Tyagi. Lots of Tyagis here, but Akash Tyagi, happy birthday! I hope you have a super duper duper day. I Varshu underscore Varma किसने टच किया आप सबने मेरे दिल को टच किया आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी गुड आंसर गुड सॉरी समटाइम्स आई लाइक फील वेरी इम्प्रेस बाई माई ओन आंसर्स विच यू माइट नॉट फील बट आई फील रामायण देखते हैं क्या नहीं आई थिंक आई शुड स्टार्ट वॉचिंग लास्ट स्टोरी टू कब आएगी करण जौहर को ये बात पता है एंड रॉनी स्क्रू वाला आई डोंट नो फिल मेक दैट अगेन Your favorite movie? I watched a movie called Knives Out during lockdown. That's the only movie I've actually watched during the whole lockdown. It was quite nice. Favorite though, if you ask me, I think it'll be like a romantic comedy. I think Dilwale Dulhaniya, kuch kuch hota hai, all time. Okay, guys, my quarantine crush, my family. They are my quarantine, my forever crush, my forever loves. Okay, guys, I'm gonna sign off now. Um, this was really fun. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for chatting with me. We'll do this again, I promise. And stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. And we'll spend our time now that I'm gonna be home too. We'll do many more live chats, and I'll probably answer many more of your questions. Thank you so 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 much for coming and. 
sharing this wonderful evening with me bye guys i'm going ha huh? tata okay i don't know how to end this video okay bye